Mom, I thought you were going to stop staying up all night watching the Home Shopping Channel. The mailman just dropped off a fussy Fido dog food maker. <laughs> Esther, look! Oh, this turns ordinary table scraps into gourmet delicacies. Plus, you know, it's good for mulch. <laughs> Mom, Esther eats dead bugs off the floor. Why do you keep buying all this? Oh, because it's hard to sleep without Riley. I'm a woman, I have needs. So I shop on TV. Appliances are not a substitute for love. Yeah, well, actually, I've had some pretty good experiences. No, 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 no. <laughs> hi, Cuzzy. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. Mwah, how you feeling? You know, okay. Do you bring me my medicine? Of course. We got eclairs, oh. Napoleons, jelly donuts. <laughs> and here's the six brownies you asked for. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the kids gotta eat. Mmm, <laughs> brownies. Finally, some real food. Ever since she bought the Rip Van Winkle slow cooker, we eat every 43 hours. <laughs> Franny, when are you gonna call Riley? I'm not going to. I broke up with him for his own good. Uh, yeah, you want to tell me how that works again? He's 28 years old. He should be getting married and having babies. Mom, what is this? <laughs> oh, I vacuum sealed your clothes with my new air sucker garment saver. <laughs> Where are all my coats and my shoes, my blouses? <laughs> They're all in there, honey. <laughs> well, good, because I need stuff in there to wear for me and Becca's talent show audition. What are you guys doing? Well, I sing. Yeah, and I wear this really cute little halter top and a leather skirt, fishnet stockings, and mid-calf boots. <laughs> and I play tambourine. I think I want to sing a ballad, something I can really get into, like, wishing you were here. Oh. Or maybe, uh, can't smile without mm. you. Yeah. No, no, or all by myself. Yeah. Does anybody want an eclair? No? Okay. Fran, this is ridiculous. You are going to call Riley. No, I'm not. And stop saying his name. It's hard enough for me to stop thinking about him. The other day, I watched the news, and I burst into tears. Why? It was the O'Reilly factor. <laughs> Riley! <laughs> this Napoleon looks great. Oh. Meanwhile, Meryl, mm. if you want to keep Danny, I'd lighten up on the Napoleons there. <laughs> or you're gonna end up like, uh, how should I put this? Uh, the girl who gets lucky when the bar is closing. <laughs> Franny? I'm pregnant. Well, duh. I was wondering when you were going to tell me. You know, you just had the hysterectomy, and I didn't want to, like, rub my womb in your face. <laughs> Is it Danny's? No, it's a cast of Riverdance. <laughs> of course it's Danny's. You know, since you and Riley fixed us up, I didn't know how you'd feel if I told you that I was having a baby and getting married. You're getting married? That's great. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> Thank you, Tissue Buddy 4000. <laughs> Okay, Danny, Josh said we got about an hour before Fran comes home. So we go in, we pick up my drill, and we get out. And when we're talking to Josh, everything's cool with me. I'm doing great. Yeah, but you're not. You're a mess. Why don't you just call her? Tell her you want her back. See, that only works if I broke up with her. Well, we got to do something, because you teared up like a little girl last night watching Terminator 2. <laughs> that robot was the only father that kid ever knew. Hi, Josh. Hey. Uh, 
Josh, I decided to cancel my bikini wax because it's right by my hysterectomy spine. Riley! Josh! Anyway, it was great catching up. Josh said he wouldn't be here, so I came by to pick up my drill. Uh oh, okay. Isn't this usually when you go to your Pilates class? I didn't really ever go to Pilates class. I just used to say I did so I could pretend to be sore and then you'd massage me. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, you know, there's always a wine tasting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I should get my drill. Okay. How's he really doing? He's a basket case. He watched a rerun of The Nanny and got all sad because she reminded him of you. <laughs> that is so sweet. But her voice. <laughs> Fran, it's really cluttered down there. Why do you need a life-size main dramatic nativity scene? Did you get that on the shopping channel? Because I got the Miracle Mayonnaise Maker, and it already paid for itself. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll see you. I guess. What do you mean, you guess? You're going to see each other at our engagement party. Yeah. And, you know, maybe we can sit together or something. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Riley, but I'm going to have a date. Oh. When I said together, I didn't mean at the same table. I meant, like, uh, at the same time. <laughs> we should go. So you're dating already? Because that's, like, really cold. What are you looking at? I didn't invite Riley over so you could confront him, find closure, and I could stop living off brownies and cocktail olives. <laughs> and frankly, I don't appreciate the accusation. Well, thanks to you, I now have to find myself a date. Why? Why? Because he wants to sit next to me at Cousin Merrill's engagement party. Do you know how freaking irresistible I'm gonna look that night? <laughs> Josh, you know I broke up with him for his own good. Yeah, I heard you the last hundred times you said it. You don't want Riley to waste his life. Okay, fine. Maybe I did it a little bit for me, too. I mean, what is going to happen to me in 20 years when he decides to dump me? He'll go to a younger woman and start a new family. Well, I'll be back in the meat market trying to hide my expiration date. <laughs> So where are you going to find a date in two days? Listen, there are plenty of single men that shop at the supermarket, and they're always looking for beautiful, sophisticated women. Especially when you're not wearing a bra in the frozen food aisle. <laughs> Is there anything she won't say in front of me? to remember we simply choose to forget so it's the laughter we will remember whenever we remember the way we I've only been playing tambourine for what, like, a year? And you were magnificent, oh, princess. Thank you, you Daddy. You, you could be Simon and Garfunkel, Hall and Oates, or any other duo where both members are equally talented. Are you okay, Fran? Is my mascara running? Uh, no. Then I'm fine. <laughs> Franny. I had no idea you were this sensitive. Did you cry like this when we split up? Only when the champagne cork hit me in the eye. Oh. <laughs> well, you can't see the scar. The crow's feet hide it nicely. 
You know, Ted, you should be nicer to me. Because when you had your heart attack, I was supposed to go for a manicure. But I didn't go, because you said you were going to die. And meanwhile, here you are. <laughs> oh, Franny. Oh, Meryl, it's so unfair. You're pregnant. You can't even drink with me. <laughs> Not true. There are new rules now. You are allowed one glass of wine a day. Oh, good. Mm, no, I have my own breakfast already. <laughs> What's with you? I just, I can't get over how good Becca is. Did you know that she writes songs, too? Do we know anybody in the music industry? Uh... uh you know, Danny has a cousin in the business. I I'm not sure what he does, but he's got a gun, so he must be pretty high up there. <laughs> Could I get his number? What are you, a manager? You know, why not? Believe it or not, I'm actually willing to give up my exciting career scraping bubblegum off copies of Deuce Bigelow European Gigolo. <laughs> We don't need his number. He's gonna be at the engagement party on Friday. Oh, that's great. Becca's gotta sing. That's a great idea. Wait a minute. All of a sudden, you are planning my engagement party? Meryl, the boy is excited. Let the girl sing for your cousin with the gun. <laughs> okay, fine. She could sing. All right, thank you. So, Franny, how did your date go in the freezer aisle? You find one? No, I cramped out. Plus, I had to stand for an hour in front of the rotisserie chickens just to thaw out my nipples. <laughs> Ooh. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to find some guy who's easy on the eyes that has zero expectations of me sleeping with him. OK, Fran, I'm going to take Allison now. I'll drop her back tomorrow about noon. Oh, unless, of course, you're going to be at Chuck E. Cheese trolling for a new boyfriend. <laughs> You know, Ted... What are you doing Friday night? <laughs> Fran, are you sure you didn't invite me here just so you could make Riley jealous? Oh, right, Ted. I was trying to make Riley jealous, so I invited some middle-aged English guy with a bad ticker and a body that looks like boiled chicken. <laughs> Now, listen, you just better be on your best behavior, because you owe me. If I hadn't... Yes, I me... know. You saved my life. That's right. Yeah, well, I think spending an evening pretending to enjoy your company makes us even. <laughs> oh, here's Riley. OK, now just remember, act like when we were dating. Mm. Only get your hands off my ass. Well, I'm sorry. I was headed for your back. It seems the landscape's shifted a bit since my last visit. <laughs> Hi, Riley. Hey, Fran. Ted. Riley. Well, I'm off to the bar. Uh, oh. Sea breeze for you, darling. And Riley. I'll see if they've got your favorite juice box. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Ted, you're here together? Yes. Yes, we are. You know, we're taking it slow, but it sort of makes sense. I mean, he's the father of my children, and we have a lot of history together. You should really do the same thing. Get out there. Find somebody. Hey there. Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> Fran, this is Renee. Hi. Hi. Fran and I, well, we used to date. You're kidding. <laughs> I don't hear anyone laughing. I'm just saying, it's a coincidence that we're all here at the same time. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what you meant? Because it sure sounded to me like, oh, Riley used to date an old lady with no uterus. I didn't say that. Hey, we all heard you, sister. So, uh, in closing, I don't know if you noticed, but Meryl's pregnant. And when I find the guy, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Fred, I feel nauseous. Well, I'm nauseous too, but you wanted him to make the speech. <laughs> no, I mean because of the baby. Oh. You know what? You, you're gonna have to read my speech. What? what? Anyway, here's to my beloved Meryl, who is in every way as good as I'll ever do. <laughs> I'm sure she has something to say about our upcoming marriage. I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> 
Oh, oh. Oh, okay, everyone. Um, well, <clears throat> hi. Yeah, that my cousin Meryl was supposed to make a speech now, but um, I guess something came up. <laughs> <laughs> um, to all outward appearances, Danny and I do not fit. But we learned that that doesn't matter, thanks to Fran, my dearest friend, and Riley, Danny's best friend. They showed us that if you live for today like they do, tomorrow will take care of itself. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Um, oh, oh, now we have a very special treat. Um, there's a young lady that's gonna sing a song for the bride and groom to be. So please give a warm welcome to Miss Rebecca Grant. So you think this is the next pop diva, huh? Oh yeah, she just turned 16. Whoa. <laughs> Kind of old, didn't she? <laughs> okay, she's 12. She'll lie about her age. My mom will coach her. I thought I could handle seeing you tonight, but I can't. My heart was wrapped up in clover. <laughs> now I looked at you. Am I interrupting something? Hey, Riley. What's going on? We're just talking, mate. Yeah, right. What the hell are you doing hitting on another woman when you've got Fran? Do you have any idea how lucky you are? Uh, right. I'm not finished. I don't know why she kicked me out, but fine, that's her choice. You heard her, I swear I'll kill you. Okay, Donnie, this might be a good time to speak up. <laughs> oh, Riley, I'm not getting back together with Ted. But please, don't let that stop you from killing him. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite part of the song, where Becca gets interrupted by you guys talking about, <laughs> what was it again? Oh yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> God's sakes, Fran, would you please tell Riley the truth before he gets all farm boy and throws himself under a wheat combine? <laughs> tell me what? What's he talking about? Okay, enough. Listen, Riley. Josh! She broke up with you because she thought you were going to dump her when she got older and then something about a meat market. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, shut up. <laughs> See you home? In the Ferrari? Sure. Why don't you tell me the truth? Because you were just going to say that I was wrong and you were never going to leave me for a million years and I'm older and I know that someday you are going to feel differently. Well, you are wrong. And why are we talking about someday? What about today? I love you, Fran, and I miss you. Don't you miss me? Every moment of every day. Oh, I've spent so much money buying stupid stuff on the shopping channel, and I don't even have any money to put it together. <laughs> and I still have your Barbara Streisand CD in my truck. I play it all the time because it reminds me of you. Really? Ask my foreman. Last week, I gave him a ride home, and he invited me in for cocktails. <laughs> OK. You know what? I'm gonna count to three. And if you're still here, I'm gonna kiss you. One. Well, you kiss better than you count. <laughs> Not taking any more chances. Why don't you come back to my place and have some cocktails? 
And then move back in with me. Nope. Why now? Because I'm not going to go back to the way things were, Fran. I'm not going to be just some young guy living in your house. It's Josh's job. <laughs> oh, Riley. No. This time, it's all or nothing, babe. Fran? Will you marry me? Huh? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs>